This one is going to be about um, playing with a pick and playing individual strings with a pick. Um, when I first started out, I was more into uh, finger picking because it's, you know, and it's, I feel like finger picking is um, the first thing that, in many, in many cases, it's easier than, than playing with a pick. I Playing with a pick is a little harder. Uh, because if you're especially playing without looking and a lot of you know, you don't want to be sitting there looking at the guitar You know, say well, how do you how do you determine you know what string you're hitting? How, how do you how does it how do you hit the right string without looking at it? Well At the very beginning I kind of it's a little bit of a cheat system and it's not a bad cheat system, you know but if you're playing the top three strings EAD At the very beginning uh, when I was learning I kind of let the uh, side of my hand brush up against the bottom three string. Now as time has gone by, that movement has become less pronounced. So if you want to play the top three strings, or if you want to play the bottom three strings, let this part brush up against the top three. You see that? As time has gone by, that movement becomes less pronounced and you rely more on the uh, on the, the fact that your you kind of point of reference is the uh, wrist as it settles on the guitar at the same place so it becomes more of a muscle memory but at the very beginning there's kind of you can do that and then that way you'll know at least you're gonna hit one out of the three strings um, and also there is a com there comes a time where look at that the pick guard that kind of helps to determine as well. Uh, as you get more advanced, you'll probably rely more on uh, less on wrist movement and more on the uh, on the fact that you got a resting point there, and you have this pinky that's on the pick guard to kind of help in you determine the string as well. So, see that. One thing you don't want to do, which I made the mistake in the beginning, is you don't want to overpronounce that uh, movement there. You'll say, well, I want to be sure that I don't hit those bottom three strings. So I'm going to make sure that my this part of my hand is on the bottom three strings. Well, great, but you don't want to get too tense. So that tensing will cause cramping. So you want to kind of employ these little cheats at the beginning. And then maybe as you get more advanced, kind of rely more on the just go with less movement, which you'll be able to do, it'll come naturally.